Hi, I'm Simone Smith, and I'm the picture editor on The Queen of My Dreams, which is premiering at TIFF. Hi, my name is Daniela Barbosa. I was the first assistant director on Dream Scenario. Hi, my name is Jasmine Mozafari, and I'm the writer and director of the short film Motherland. My name is Zazu Myers, and I'm the production designer of the film Fingernails. My name is Chris Gordon. I'm the uh, location manager on the film Seven Veils that was directed by Adam Goyan. I'm BJ Marcelino. I'm an independent producer, director, and I've worked on uh, Aftercare as Part City. My name is Jason Clark. I'm a production designer based out of Toronto. The film I worked on is Viggo Mortensen's The Dead Don't Hurt. My name is Jane McRae. I'm an editor, and I worked on a short film called Red Lights, directed by Eva Thomas. That means screening it to this year. My name is Ashley Henry, and I am the show I'm an creator and director of Real Mac Gets a Life. I was thrilled when I found out we got into TIFF. It's always nice to hear that a film you worked on made it into TIFF, especially, you know, a film like this, and it's getting its world premiere at TIFF. It was actually my first film that I've ever had screened at TIFF, funnily enough, so it's a first for me too, and I'm really excited. It's the first time that uh, I've worked on something that's been selected for TIFF, so as, you know, part of my career, it's it's certainly a, a pinnacle and, and, uh, and a really uh, proud moment to be part of something like that. I hope that when people come away from the queen of my dreams, they call and hug their parents. Like, I think it really does sort of give us a sense of empathy of, you know, our parents struggled before us and, you know, how we're really not that different, even in ways we may wish we were. With any film I make, I just want people to feel something. But I hope when they leave the theater, they also think about what Iranians have been through to sort of resettle and why they've had to leave their own country and what that means for them. I feel like the film actually kind of makes you question your own relationships. Well, obviously you, you hope that they're going to enjoy the film and like the film. It's not your standard Western. It's a love story and it's a pretty tender love story that has some pretty dark moments. So you know there's a lot of dirt and grit and blood mixed in with it. <laughs> I'm hoping that the audience gets to kind of forge a connection with, with the story beyond just the characters. If you find yourself relating to, or like, oh my gosh, I've said that type of thing in some of these awkward moments, that there's a lesson to laughter. This is the kind of film that everyone goes away with something different. It's just thought provoking. This is a movie you're gonna need to see more than once to get all the little, all the little details into it.